My name is Pia Mäkelä and I'm a scientist in the European Food Safety Authority. I'm going to tell you what are the foodborne genetic pathogens and why they are important uh, to public health and to humans. And um, first of all, uh, this term uh, genotic, it comes uh, from the Latin term genosis, which means uh, diseases and infections which are transmissible between animals and humans. And quite often these infections are transmitted through contaminated foodstuffs. Um, the most important uh, foodborne pathogens uh, in the Europe are bacteria such as Salmonella, Campylobacter and certain types of Escherichia coli. And these bacteria typically cause diarrhea in humans but also sometimes more severe symptoms. Eh? And then we still have some foodborne uh, uh, parasites in the EU such as uh, Trichinella and then of course there are also some other pathogens. Animals such as pigs, cattle and poultry, they quite often carry these foodborne pathogens in their gut content or skin or even in their muscles. But in most cases these pathogens do not cause any disease in animals. But when food from this type of infected animals is being produced, the food can become contaminated with these pathogens. And then when humans eat this type of contaminated food, they can get infected and get the disease. These uh, foodborne uh, genotic pathogens are important in the Europe and that is because uh, these pathogens cause over 300,000 reported human cases in the European Union each year. And most likely there is even more cases because of the common underreporting. So we have uh, actually over 200,000 reported uh, Campylobacteriosis cases in humans each year in the European Union and uh, around 100,000 reported uh, salmonellosis cases in humans. And for the other pathogens is of course less. Thus it is important to prevent uh, these diseases uh, from occurring. Uh, and in fact uh, the European Union has issued already legislation which aims uh, to reduce these pathogens in the animals uh, and also further, further up in the food chain. And these measures have already resulted in uh, the reduction of the human salmonellosis cases in the European Union. And these cases have actually dropped almost by half uh, in the last six years. But you can also take some actions by yourself uh, to avoid these diseases. And for that purpose it is important always to cook raw meat and raw eggs thoroughly and also have a good kitchen hygiene at home.